6 times 26 times 26, which is what? <laughs> Somebody gave me a little lad gave me a very good answer a few weeks ago. He said, a lot. <laughs> very good answer. 17,576. Okay? Times 60. That's over a million combinations. Let's make it a bit more difficult. I've added a plug board, a stacker board. Can you see I've wired D to W and C to T? Can you see? I put a wire between C and T and D and W. So when I press key D on the keyboard, it goes down there to D. But I wired it to W, so it doesn't go in on the D contact, it goes in on the W contact. Change, 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 change. Comes back out, and it comes back out as a C, but I wired C to T. If it doesn't like lamp C, it lights lamp T. So there's nine changes on the keyboard, okay? The code book will tell you which three wheels to use, which sequence of the three, what the, set, the, ring, what the ring settings are, which ten pairs of letters to swap over. Not two pairs, ten out of a possible thirteen. Thirteen times two is twenty-six. How many ways are doing ten pairs out of thirteen? About 140 million million. For each of the 17,000, for each of the 60, the total number of ways of setting up an Enigma machine is just short of 150 million, million, million. The chance of you win the National Lottery last night was an easy peasy 14 million to one. <laughs> okay? So what we're doing here is millions of times more difficult than trying to work out what can win the lottery, but it isn't really true because the lottery is genuinely random. This is not. So, how on earth are we going to break a thing of 150 million, million, million? It's going to be difficult. I said, along comes Alan Turing with the bomb machine. The probable word or crip. Do you remember the three components? Remember the three components? The plane, the key, and the enciphered. That is a real German message. Any two will give you the third. That's a real German message. Naval, four-letter groups. Navy is always different. They use four-letter groups. I have no idea where one word begins and another one ends. Not like the easy one I did that. Because, of course, it's a polyalphabetic cipher. If I can't use that easy method I used back in, back in the date. Okay. Now, to break into the sequence purely so as to explain things, that is what the German operator on board the ship actually typed in. Okay? And that's what came out. So that's what we have, that's what we have intercepted. That's the gobbledygook, that's the cabbage. That's what he actually typed in, four letter groups, and you begin to see. Now in hut eight, to go into the sequence, I'm just going to say, right, they've got the key, and that's what comes out from hut eight. They have no idea what it means, because they don't understand German anyway. So it goes up to hut four. This is where my German pronunciation is going to be really tested now. <laughs> And it goes up to hot, hot four, where there are the linguists and the naval intelligence people. KR, KR, it's a code. Remember, you can encipher a code. You can encipher a cipher. You can encipher the cipher of a cipher of a cipher. Right? A German U-boat, Kapitän, mm -hmm. had three levels of encipherment. He had three levels, officers two and the operator one. Means very important, most immediate. Who is it from and who is it to? From Flottenschiff, uh, let's say an admiral, to Oberkommander Marina, in other words, German admiralty, probably in Berlin. Excuse my pronunciation. To Kero Knacker, Achterhaus, Schiff von Uwe und Verhege, wir kämpfen, wir kämpfen bis zum letzten Granate als Leber de Führer. Das wasn't too bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> Commander in Chief Fleets and Naval Headquarters, most immediate, torpedo hit right aft, ship unmaneuverable, we fight to the last shell, long live the Fuhrer. Last message from. Bismarck. Last message from Bismarck. Incidentally, um, the German Navy know the track of Bismarck, not from Bismarck, which was on radio silence, but from the Royal Navy. <laughs> they've broken all the Royal Navy codes and therefore they are not shadowing Bismarck so they know where Bismarck is from the Royal Navy, not from Bismarck. Okay. Long live the Führer. It's Labour the Führer. He always signs off the last line of his messages with long live the Führer. <laughs> Somebody else had Hitler. Somebody else need to make an England down with the English. <laughs> And looking over my sand dunes in the North African desert, 
and every day I have to report back what I see in the same format every day, at the same time every day, and every day I send back exactly the same message, leaked to Melden, nothing to report. Why send it? What's the point? <laughs> if he'd sent it in plain German, can you see what he's done? If he'd sent it in plain German, it would have been okay. Mm -hmm. All he would have told us is there's nothing to report. But he's enciphered it, and we know in advance what the plain text is going to be. And he's enciphered it. Therefore, we have the plain and the enciphered. We can therefore work out the third, which is the key. key. Right. All we need is some machine which will go to all 150 million, million, million to find out which settings will give you a enigma, will give you that, in, will give you that incitement. And this is what the machine is. Okay? And in 12 to 14 minutes, it works out for each wheel order what the settings are. It only has to go through 17,576. He's cancelled out the 140 million, million. It's brilliant. It's a bit like the program Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? You know, one of the options is to take away two wrong answers and you're left with the right answer and one wrong answer. What Alan Turing has done is to take away 149,999,990, whatever, okay, and you're left with, say, a dozen possible right answers. In other words, elimination is easier than identification. We're not going to find out what the right answer is, we're just going to eliminate all the answers that it cannot be. And you're left with just, hopefully, and that's the art of doing what's called the menu, which is a diagrammatic representation of that in uh, and that's really more of an art than a science, um, of trying to get as few, shall we say, stops as you can. What you then do is to try and then feed it into an Enigma machine, because we've got Enigma machines, not German ones, they're British ones, they're called Type X's. You see them again in Block B and in the tent, Type X machine, the British equivalent of Enigma, a derivative of the German Enigma machine. We bought it in the 1930s, made five wheels into it, made it much more complicated, and nobody ever broke it in World War II. And the answer comes out on ticker tape, not on, not on lights. So you type, you set with these patch tables here, and if you set it up to behave exactly the same as your German Enigma machine, type in the gobbledygook, the powder belt, and hopefully then on ticker tape comes plain German. If it isn't, I'm deliberately exaggerating a bit, really press the button and go on to the next stop. There's a whole explanation of all this on the bomb uh, it down, in, down in B block. So, that's it on Enigma. Hitler, on the whole, did not use Enigma. He used a totally different machine, a whole family of machines called Geheimschreiber, but the main ones we're concerned with is made by the German Lorenz company, the Lorenz SZ40 and 42. The total number in theory, the theoretical number of total combinations of a Lorenz machine is, I understand, greater than the number of atoms in the universe. Mm -hmm. It must be unbreakable. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> because it's still a deterministic machine. But it's very, very clever because it pretends that it isn't. Okay? You think it's a genuinely random machine, but we know down where that it can be. Let's go and have a look at it. Out for the door. Can I just ask a question? Sorry, just a question. On, 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 this, on this thing here, when, when they set it up, did they, issue, did they just try and transcribe short messages then? The new were uh, no, 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 no. The messages on the whole are usually extended 250 characters long. All right. So you first of all, you've got to find out where in the message is leaked to Melbourne. Yeah, right. And one way of doing that is because no letter ever inside is itself. Right. If you find the positions where no letter is set inside, you know that must be one of the possibilities. Right, so they just did that. And that's what that little thing here is trying to demonstrate.